everybody, welcome to the PowerCast, live every Tuesday night. We have a very special guest with us. Eric and I are excited to share with you Miss Stephanie Sheeds, also known as Stephanie Sweets. She was with us live last year. We have her once again. We're so excited. But before we begin, remember to always join us going to YouTube. Go type in Team Powerhouse Real Estate. Go to Instagram. Go to Facebook. Go to Twitch. Go to Anchor. Go to Apple Podcasts. Go to Spotify. And there's, how many more, Eric? Help me out over here. what I miss? I don't know. A lot more places you I can find us. I wasn't listening, I'm sorry. And, and the truth of the matter is, anywhere you want to find us, we're going to be there's there. There's distractions that are crazy <laughs> over here, dude. So, let's just start into the show. We have Stephanie Sheets, Stephanie Sweets, the sweetest woman I know, with the most delicious treats you could ever have in your life, whether it be for a party, for a special occasion, a family event, Gifts for your clients that my clients love. Um, Stephanie Sweets, thank you so much, Stephanie, for being with us, Miss Stephanie Sheets. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we have an array of options here this year. Now, I want you to know that, and we talked about this before, you do every holiday. Every holiday, every occasion, or just because you want cookies. Just because you want cookies at home because someone likes cookies in the house. Yes. It's a good reason. And you make lots of kind of cookies. Do you want to talk about, I mean, how many different kind of cookies do you make? Do you want to go through some of them that are, you know, in front of us or you want to talk so about? So I'll talk about the holiday platter. <laughs> so it has nine different varieties. Um, peanut butter balls, which is my favorite. Yum. <laughs> peanut butter kiss, chocolate chip, uh, shortbread dipped with chocolate, butter balls, chocolate rounds, nut roll. Um, Anjanettes. Anjanettes. And I think sugar. Yes. But guys, I want you to know something. She makes a lot more treats than she's got in front of us, by the way. Oh, the dipped chocolate Oreos, one of my favorites. Um, she makes an Oreo ball that will blow your mind. She makes big, delicious chocolate chip and M&M cookies. I, wow, those are new. They're huge. Those so they're huge. literally the salt. So we should, where palm. should we start? Because in this and now, but these can also have Reese's Pieces in it instead of M and M's. So I like that idea. Double chocolate chunk with Reese's Pieces. What? What? You can make that for us today. <laughs> and, and by the way, on in top of that, you have specially made cookies with Team Powerhouse logos. So if you have a logo you'd like to have on cookies That's for a very special occasion, <laughs> I will tell you. This is a woman that's going to make your dreams come true. <laughs> your cookie um, dreams, at least. Your cookie <laughs> dreams come true. Your sweet tooth come true. And all these cookies are calorie-free, fat-free, carbohydrate-free, sodium-free, and what else could it be? Are they sugar-free? They're sugar-free also. Did I mention they're sugar-free? guilt-free. Guilt-free. They're... <laughs> all these. They're just you, not free. You eat them. <laughs> you eat them, and it like disappears in your body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say to you that I will. Uh, Let's start with some of the cookies. Oh, we also have something called a hot chocolate explosion. Hot so these are chocolate explosion for these cold winter nights. And we're going to show you what a chocolate explosion looks like in just one minute. Okay, we're back. Thank you so much for that amazing exp explanation of how the chocolate explosion works. Now we're going to go into something a little more exciting, the tasting of these delicious cookies. So before we try one of these cookies, because Eric's going to start with the first pick probably. I am? He's, looking, <laughs> okay. he's eyeballing these cookies as if, you know, it's the first time we're seeing them. So what would you like to try first or what would you like to have? What would you like to do? You pick one. Yeah. But remember, um, some of these have nuts in them, so. He, okay, he, he, he doesn't like walnuts. Right. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, no, no nuts for Eric. Eric's going to probably go with the, the thing. No, you, you could choose. You could choose. Go ahead. And I think Amanda's going to have to try the cookies too, by the way. Okay. Amanda's helping. Help. Amanda here is videotaping this podcast. She's doing an amazing job. Um, mm -hmm. You have to introduce Amanda. Well, we'll introduce Amanda at a different time, a different place, a different okay. situation. But we definitely <laughs> wanted to try the cookies in the place. Oh. No, oh, we don't have any napkins. Right? To the peanut butter balls. Uh, we do not have any napkins. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to be licking my fingers, I guess, is what I'll be doing. All right. So peanut butter ball number one. No. Amanda, would you like to try a What's peanut butter ball? What's the crunch? Ball? I would recommend it. So the crunch is uh, crunch peanut butter and rice krispies. Uh, 
Amanda, I so there's a Rice Krispie in here? There's Rice Krispies in there. Okay. So you have your yeah. cereal. Okay, throw it to you. So you can eat them for breakfast. So you can have this for good. breakfast. Oh, good yes. catch. <laughs> oh, wow. This is special on many levels. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Chocolate and peanut butter is like heaven. And I never understood how someone could say, I don't like peanut butter. If I ever meet somebody who says, I don't like peanut butter, I'm not sure we can be friends. <laughs> be Unless you're allergic <laughs> to peanut butter. And um, then you have on top of that Rice Krispie treats inside. Um, on top yeah, the of Rice Krispie treats give it that uh, yes. that crunch. That crunch, that very Along special crunch. Along with the crunchy peanut butter. But crunchy, like there's peanuts inside of it. Because I don't get the sense of peanutty. Well, the crunchy peanut butter has some little pieces in there, so it helps with the crunch. Well, the one I had um, didn't have any of that, so it was strictly Rice Krispies. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no. What, what? What? He said that he didn't He didn't feel the crunchy peanut butter on his palate. That's because he was eating it so fast, he probably <laughs> forgot to eat it. You have to have the... Uh, I'm not licking my fingers yet. <laughs> All right. I'm going to dig with the right and eat the left. That's my plan. Amanda, how are we doing over there? Yeah, mm, very interesting. But well, we're still taping live on that one there, so we can always come back this one here. Yep. All right. So should we hold off and continue, or should we? All right. The next cookie of choice. Let's go with the um, – which one's not no nuts? Uh, shortbread, chocolate chip. Peanut butter kiss is peanut butter again. Okay. So let's go so – Why you go with this double chocolate thing? With the, uh, All right. That's a chocolate sugar. round. Now, is, that, is that confectionery sugar or confectioner's sugar? I just call it powdered sugar, but powdered it's confectioner sugar. sugar. We're going to go with the chocolate round. Are you going to try the chocolate round? Sure. Okay. Don't eat for the chocolate. But wait, do we have to eat the whole thing? No. We could. You have a lot of cookies to try. That's a good yeah, point. Yeah, that's can't good. possibly eat them all. You know what? I'm going to put one of your cards over here and use it as a plate for myself. Can I one of those cards, please? Yeah, just have a little something to put down over here. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, it's much different in taste than it is in visual. It's very light. Mm -hmm. It's not as chocolatey as you would think it looks like. It's more like a very light brownie, almost tasting cookie. Um, it's got the sweet confection on the outside. It's soft. It looks like it's going to be a hard cookie, but it's softer. Mm -hmm. um, but it's got that flavor of almost like a cocoa flavor to it. Am I wrong? Am I right? You are right. Eric, what's Eric? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just right. cleaning up the powder. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we are. Just cleaning up the powder, that's all. All right. Nice little water. Sorry. So yes, it has unsweetened cocoa in it, so it gives it the chocolatey flavor, but it doesn't add to extra sweetness. Yeah. It's very like I could definitely see like a cup of coffee, yes. you know, like a nice hazelnut flavored coffee or something like that with a that flavor of coconut or coconut flavor. You like that idea? I love hazelnut coffee. Oh yeah, <laughs> yummy. Are you done? So we can go to the next. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna take this. With now the on it. Thanksgiving is coming up. Now, can people still order for Thanksgiving? That's not so. A November 18th was my cutoff for Thanksgiving trays, but um, was was yes. yeah <laughs> was my cutoff. Um, but I am taking Christmas orders. They do book up fast. So Christmas. Now, obviously, Thanksgiving is in a couple of days. So that's yes. why I want to make sure that people know they couldn't order for Thanksgiving. But this, Christmas. Is, this is after the 18th. So it's. Right. Well, Tuesday yeah. is a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Christmas is coming up. Yes. And you can pre-order to what date for Christmas cookies? Am so, I putting in a spot over here? <laughs> Hold on. I don't have my calendar on me um, for the date I picked yet. But it's so usually. So what do you think? About 10 days? It's a week to 10 days. It's usually Honestly. at least um, a week before Christmas. It may be sooner if I book up. I have some clients that order 10 trays at a time. Now, the cookies that don't have the mm. um, Christmas color theme to it, you can you can adorn them, though, with it, right? Oh, yeah. So I can do any colors with whatever. So like something like this, it doesn't it doesn't have the green and red sprinkles on it. Right. Okay. But you, we can add them. I mean, I if, can, if, if you want to do something to. Christmas themed where yeah. oh, everything yeah. has those, you know, those colors on it. Yes. So. So everybody, this peanut butter cookie 
is perfection. Ooh. It's the perfect amount of peanut butter in it. I love peanut butter. It's sweetness. The chocolate juice I should eat first. I couldn't wait because it was <laughs> either going to fall. I want to make sure I didn't lose it. Um, my daughter would grab the kisses off the cookies right away. From my the son does that too. And then to leave the cookie right there probably. He eats the cookie usually later, but these are one of his favorite. Yeah, cookies. it's really a good cookie. It's soft. It's not crunchy. It's very tasty. It's chewy. Um, that's how I like my cookies. Now, some people do like a little more crunchier cookies. Oh, Eric. Well, I was just going to ask because, <clears throat> um, you know, some folks like the cookies like break, you know. Mm. Me personally, I like soft batch. So uh, can you tailor them? So what, so if somebody I can. wants a more crispy um, or soft batch? Yes, I can. If you like them crunchier, I can can definitely make them that way. But the thing is that they're all made fresh. That's yes. why they're so soft and freshly tasted. So no, when were these made? This morning? Between last night and this morning. Okay. You know, it, when a chocolate chip cookie also, you get a little crunch on the outside, a little soft and chewy on the, chewy on the inside. That's my – I mean, most cookies, it's a, some cookies are specifically supposed to be harder. Correct. Right? And some cookies, when you eat them – Again, from my experience, is that you don't know what you're going to expect until you kind of bite into it, right? You think it's hard on the outside, then you find it's really soft and chewy. Like even that cookie with the peanut butter cookie, you think it's going to be a harder cookie, but it really isn't. It's a really fresh cookie, soft, chewy, and peanut butter flavored, but not too overpowering the peanut butter, even though I wouldn't mind if it was covered and smeared and <laughs> dipped in You would dip butter. yours in there. <laughs> I love peanut butter, uh, definitely for sure. All right, so we did the, we did the chocolate round. We did the, what was the first peanut one? Butter the balls. Peanut butter balls. Peanut butter, balls. butter kiss. We, and the peanut butter kiss. All right. So Dave, you're up. Um, well, I'm thinking that I have in front of me lots of choices right now. Um, let's go with the chocolate dip. Do you know I love chocolate? Every time I order cookies from you, everything has to have chocolate in it. I know that. And every time I send out <laughs> cookies to my clients, I always have chocolate. Because the chocolate is just when you see chocolate, it just gets exciting. Although some people probably think, enough with the chocolate. Probably no. Right? Every time I deliver cookies... Everybody goes, it's got peanut butter balls in there, right? And yeah. it's like, yep, <laughs> that's my favorite one. You know, and now that it's on the winter time, having it maybe uh, the the Oreo balls would actually make it for the winter time, possibly. Would that be possible? Or so it's hard because they do have to be refrigerated because yes. they contain cream cheese. Yes, that's right. So it's a harder delivery to make. As long as somebody's home willing to what take it. What has cream cheese in it? Oreo balls. Oreo balls. Yeah, Oreo balls. you haven't had okay. an Oreo ball yet, man. It's yes. unbelievable. No, I haven't had an Oreo ball yet. It is bananas. <clears throat> unbelievable. Is it, I thought it was Oreos. It's Oreo bananas. You said just bananas. It's unbelievable. He's saying it's bananas. Oh, you're using <laughs> yeah, that you're as an saying, adjective. It's okay, it's okay. gotcha. Okay. Yeah, bananas. All right. Let's go with the shortbread dipped in chocolate because it's got the Christmas theme coming out. Is that this? Yes. yes. Okay, grab uh, one. I, uh, there you go. I'll grab it the right hand because I'm leaking with the left. <laughs> um I should probably put this in my left hand over here as I'm eating it. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Great cookie. Oh, that's good. Right? Okay. I, mean, that I forget cookie, how much I like shortbread. Me too. It's so it's it's amazing. It's so light and delicate, this cookie. It's got like the light crunch. I don't, you think it's gonna be such a dense cookie when you look at it. Thick. And hard shortbread are usually a crunchier, hard cookie. Is it really? Um, many times, yes. Well, I'll tell you, yours is the best I've had so far. Thanks. <laughs> um, because of the fact that it's not that very hard cookie. My mom loves hard cookies. Um, I like sometimes crunchy, sometimes soft, but this is like the perfect combination. Uh, I'm actually amazed by how perfect this cookie is. Thank you, Steffi Sweets. Check her out on Facebook. Make sure you see your Facebook page. What's that Facebook page, by the way? Steffi Sweets. Steffi Sweets. Makes it nice and simple. Steffi Sweets. Steffi, S-T-E. Uh, Steffi, S-T-E-P-H-Y, Sweets. Sweets. Oh, Steffi, not Steffi's. No, Correct. Steffi. Steffi. Right. So if they're typing Steffi's, they're not going to find it. That's a good no. point. So <laughs> Steffi, S-T-E-P-H-Y, yes. Sweets. Yes. Perfect. All right. I'm going to – should I – I love this cookie. I'm going to get into a – I went to the gym today. And but you already said they're calorie free. Yeah, guilt you're right. Free. Calorie free, <laughs> guilt free, but they're not bike free. Um, <laughs> I'm going to maybe save that for later. That's amazing. That's such a good cookie. And I love the chocolate. All right. Next one. Is there a chocolate this? chip? Chocolate chip. The original, traditional, safe chocolate chip. Now, these chocolate chip cookies come in different sizes. 
Yes, as you can see, we go larger. These are four ounce chocolate wow. chip cookies with M&Ms added to them. Would you like a cookie out there on the okay. other side? All right. <laughs> hmm. Eric, I'm doing all the commentating here. Your turn. Eric just wants to eat the cookies. I'm just here to eat. I'm not okay. here to talk about it. Welcome to the Food Channel. My name is Guy Fieri. <laughs> We're doing a cookie challenge. All right. Um, we've got cookies here. Chocolate chip cookies. These are really soft. And they're really, really actually like the freshness of the cookies make the difference. It's the freshness of the cookies that you, when you bite into a cookie and you know it's not the store brand cookie. And we all buy store brand cookies here and we there. We do. <laughs> um, but that soft bite into the cookie and the chocolate chips are perfectly placed in this cookie here. As I'm biting through this cookie, perfectly placed. Perfectly placed. I don't think she can <laughs> I think control she where drops. the. I think she drops. Where, I don't think she can control where know. the where the chips land in the cookie. When you make your cookies, and chocolate chips are going in there. How many chocolate chips, or how many? How do you do it? How many chocolate chips per bag per cookies made, or is there like a so I usually for, what's it like? I usually buy the huge bags. Yes. Um, because I make? buy in bulk because I. Bake making, so much. Yes. Um, and then I just scoop it out, and measure it right on the scale. So it's it's scooped out, and measured based on how much the batter you're making to the Correct. cookies. Because it really is like every bite is a chocolate chip in it, which so is important. And, it's and very important. You'll no notice that they're all uniform. I'll scoop them out, and I'll try and add the same amount of chocolate chips when I'm scooping for each one. I believe you because it definitely feels like they're you know perfectly placed. I, I say that sincerely because it tastes. How often you go to someone's house? They make cookies. And you see this cookie, and the cookie's crunchy and yummy, but you're like, where are the chips? And all the chips are on one side of the cookie, right? As opposed to biting into a cookie, and there's a chip here, there's a chip here. Because as a kid, you always look for the one with the most of the chips most in it. chips. Right? I always do. I still I, do it as an I adult. <laughs> so if I'm licking the cookie and I see there's chips everywhere, I know I'm going to be a winning cookie right there. It's all about the chip. All right. Um, who picked last? I did. You did. All right. All right, I want to go with. I like this little round. Nut rolls. The nut rolls. So Eric will pass on those because Eric's going to pass on that roll. He's not a fan yeah. of walnuts. Amanda, are you a nut person? Yeah. You want a nut roll? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Should I throw one to you? Would that be? Yeah. All right. Amanda. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, thank you. Hold on Here, a second. Amanda. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Five second roll. Okay, yeah. Five second I'm roll. I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs> really good. All right. It's actually so fine, the nuts. It's are finely chopped. They are. I use the chopper for that. That's a very smart <laughs> move because you know what? When you when you bite in this cookie, first you thing I the right the flavors, the cinnamon, right? Cinnamon, sugar, um, and walnuts. You can dip, and you can taste a little butter. And the butter. The butter comes out in the cookie dough. Butter's the best. And, and they're a rolled crescent. Yeah, they're a rolled crescent. They are, <laughs> you know, uh, I love nuts. I love nuts. <laughs> um, I might be nuts because you of what I eat. I mean, seriously, like, and, and the cinnamon, the sugar, and the butter, and the flavor in this cookie. This one's going. <laughs> Finish on that one. Is it one of those cookies called the butter cookie? They just call it the, the butter, butter balls. Uh, the butter balls. Which one's the butter ball? The one with the white powdered sugar. Mm. Oh. Now, for the crescent roll cookie, if somebody like Eric doesn't like walnuts, I've also done um, a raspberry. Ooh. Um, I've done Nutella. Oh. So you can add I different would, flavors oh, wow. and fillings to it. I would do both of those all day long. I love the nuts, but it might be a surprise. It's almost like a um, the raspberry. It almost reminds me of a um, what's those little thumbprint? No, the, mm. like the the Jewish cookies you get like that they're. Um, in the package, Eric, help me out. Come on, you, they, you're asking me about Jewish cookies. Cookies. Oh, come on, it's like they're like, uh, it's gonna come to me. Uh, either chocolate inside or raspberry filling. Um, they're kind of round, but it reminds me of that idea. I can't remember what it's called, it'll come to me afterwards. <laughs> but the raspberry idea is actually really good. Yeah, good idea. All right, Eric, yeah, I love the, I like the fruit idea. Did you choose the butter one? Is that what you just said? Yeah, the butter one. So, the, oh, he wants the ancho nuts. That's an option. You won't eat the butter ball. Oh, this is the butter ball. That's the butter ball. Has walnuts in it. Oh, has walnuts in there. Go, go for your option. 
No. No. I was. Okay. Okay. So what's this called? Anchonette. Anchonette. Is this Italian? It's an Italian cookie. Okay. You can add different flavors to it. got amaretto in it or something? So these have just vanilla. Um, my friend David here likes can, the anise. Can you put anise? Oh, yeah. Yes. I've made them um, special requests with anise. Most people like just the plain vanilla. Listen, that. they're both very good, but the anise. I know you love. It gives me a little, you know, like, I kind of like that. It gives me a little. You so know? the anise is not only uh, in the cookie, but it also goes into the icing as well. Mm. So you have the flavor in, in both. This is a cookie that good is again. I think with the flavors they're going through. First of all, that this icing on top of it with the, with the candy on top, it's a little treat because they don't always have the Christmas colored things in there. So they're like, usually the rainbow colored. Most people do. I was gonna say yeah, I remember seeing yellow maybe colors. or yeah. I've seen different colors on top. Uh, the sugar. The, these are butter cookies all day long and in my mouth. There's no butter, There's no butter in there. No, no butter. <laughs> What's the magic sauce? Uh, Anjanets have oil in them. Is that it? Yeah. No kidding. It's a really yummy cookie. Um, and then again, I'm, I'm partial toward the anise, but it's very good as always. When you say anise, you're talking about anise that short? Yeah, anise. Okay. Never heard it called anise before. Yeah. No. no. Anise. 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 Yes. <laughs> Well, yes, not, sir. Well, not with her, but the flavoring. Okay. Yes. Just oh, like I didn't know there was a flavor. Yes. Oh, I yes. thought it was like you actually put some anisette in there. No. no okay. Spicy. Yeah. Some do uh, lemon as well. Some will do uh, orange and orange juice. It all depends. That's true. I've had that before. Very refreshing. It all goes back to way back in the grandparents' day. They add all different flavorings and try different. Yeah. I, I would say to you that you're not only you're 100% right because you, you are. But it just dropped back a little nostalgic because I remember having something with like an orange type of like a background flavor. Mm -hmm. I think it was on as a kid kind of thing. How about an eggnog cookie? Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's crazy. I don't think I've ever had that before. Usually we You've drink, had eggnog, we drink right? spiced eggnog. I'm not much of an eggnog know. guy. No. I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't have chocolate or peanut butter in it. It doesn't <laughs> have chocolate or peanut butter. I, I think I've had it with alcohol, maybe some like rum in there or something like that. Maybe I had it. Yes. Um, <laughs> But I wasn't a big fan of it. But usually if it has alcohol in it, I'm probably going to go and try it. You know, I'm, I'm one of those guys that want to try almost everything. As long as it doesn't come to, cause me pain, that's the whole thing. All right. Uh, Eric, we have over here a couple more cookies. We're only on time. All well, right. We're going to try that Oreo one. Let's, we have sugar, oh. Oreo, and Butterball, I think, left on this one. All right. Well, I'm, I'm definitely partial. But I know you want an Oreo. Yeah, I'm definitely partial towards Oreos. Have you ever had the Oreo dipped in chocolate? I have not. Oh, Eric, you're going to be excited about this one here. <laughs> you could have just picked it out for me. You would have been it's okay with okay. Thank you. you just, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Now, this cookie, decorated for the holidays, would you like to have an Oreo cookie dipped chocolate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, you're passing on that. Okay, all right. She had two cookies. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, this chocolate is starting to melt because it's been sitting here for so long. It's not your fault. It's no, <laughs> we, we have ran, the lights. The lights. We, we ran, and, we, and we ran a little behind mm -hmm. over here today, so I apologize for that. It's getting okay. ready, a uh, little technical difficulty. So as I make a mess over here, mm. all right, Val. I won't be home for dinner no. tonight. <laughs> um, it's the first Oreo I've had in years. Wow. Yeah. It's uh, like you said, store bought sometimes, and people love it and dip it in chocolate. It's just a nice add on. So different um, with the chocolate on the outside. Yeah. So different, right? Now, what what does, you know, sometimes the, the folks that eat Oreos, they twist and then they, they take the cream off. Can't do that with this. No. Sorry. <laughs> just got to eat it. Just eat it like a normal person. <laughs> No offense to those who yeah. take the cream out. Well, and those as well are decorated for the holiday. Um, and I've had um, people ask to to add them onto the tray. Um, that's fine. I add them to the tray. They've asked for different colors. Um, can't forget my Jewish friends. I can also do it in blue as well. <laughs> blue. Speaking about that, hold on. People should know you do baby showers. You do I got chocolate on my fingers, my mouth. Baby showers, you do um, bridal showers, you do bar mitzvahs, uh, bar mitzvahs and weddings. 
That's you do true. all sorts of events that people have to remember when it comes to sweets. The, the sugar table, the sweet table is probably one of the most important things people have at their events that people remember. Yes. I was just at a uh, Friendsgiving, which I went to for a second year at the Merck's house, the Mercuglianos. And when you bring this tray of cookies there, they are excited. The first thing they say is, did you bring cookies with you? <laughs> All right. Um, and we did a lot of options. I, I, I did a big ch cookie chocolate platter. Um, you do pretzels dipped in chocolate, yes. which is a big one you do. Um, pretzels, the, the pretzel actual rods pretzels or the pretzel rods? Both. Either or. Okay. Um, we always do that as a gift. I think last year for the, for the team, we did some cookie uh, pretzel uh, dipped in chocolate. Um, you have a lot of array of cookies that are not even here today, but on your website, they're all listed there and photos of each cookie. I have photos of all the cookies that I've done. Um, I've been doing more of the ice cookies as well for birthday parties, bachelorette parties, um, different holidays, you name it. Listen, I know we're getting close to the end of the show and I don't want to eat as many cookies this year as possible. I'm not sure if it's a good idea that everybody sees me eat all the cookies in the show because when they see me, they're going to be like, Oh, Dave, nice double chin, <laughs> you know, like. Do you want to try the big one though? Those yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely, because you know what? I'm going to be going to California in a couple of days. And when I see my sister Dorit and Debbie, my parents, we got to split this cookie. There's no way I'll eat this cookie by myself. It's a four ounce cookie. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's it's going to go straight to your belly. So. That's right. <laughs> All right. Let's do that right now to the Eric side, please. Eric. Why do you think your family is going to say you? Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> my sister Dorit says to me that we're going to be getting a photo shoot done. <laughs> Everybody's got to wear jeans and a white shirt. Mm. Well, white doesn't make me look thinner. Black. Black. <laughs> I was going to ask if we switched to it to a black shirt. We're going to end up in a pair of jeans. But no, it's white sneakers, a white shirt, and black. I'm sorry, blue jeans. So I'm going to have to look down on the camera versus up <laughs> on the camera because you're going to be looking. Just hide in the back. I'm going to try and get in the back. Yeah, that's exactly what we're trying to do. All right. Going in for a bite of this M&M chocolate cookie. These are one of Danny's favorites, too. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so chocolatey and soft. Wow. <sighs> I know. <laughs> it's like for guys, it's like it's and I say guys because I don't want to sound sexist, but guys like cookies. How many guys you know that don't like cookies? Has been. Is that right? Is that crazy? He's not a cookie guy. He likes oatmeal raisin cookies and maybe a sugar cookies. He does like the large chocolate chip cookies. He thinks the smaller one is a waste of time. Is a waste. <laughs> but he's not a huge cookie fan and he's not a huge peanut butter fan. Which is crazy. <laughs> That's the part that I'm not sure about him. He might lose his man card in the whole peanut butter thing. I'm telling you right now. You know, it's a soft side. It's a sensitive side. There's no peanut butter. It's a good thing, though, that he doesn't like all of them. So this way You're he right. won't eat all of them. This is true. So I'm, I'm committing a foggy. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Sorry. Check the lenses around I this know. guy. Um, Stephanie, thank you. Thank you so much for making us feel so special. <clears throat> thank you for this beautiful array of cookies and flavors. I know that all of you out there who are watching – are wishing you were sitting here and i kind of wish you were too because <laughs> we need to share some of these but you know who's going to enjoy these cookies also jennifer bueller downstairs she's going to be excited about these cookies and some other people in the office that might be our team but because there's no way i can do those cookies obviously but it's important for you to know this is by the way how many cookies were here this was the tray of five dozen okay so you have multiple i'm going to end this by the way with how many dozen you have three dozen Five dozen, seven dozen. Those are the most popular. Um, I've done up into uh, 12 dozen. It all depends on what you need. I have different size platters. And the pricing that she has for cookies, which do we should we share that at all? Or do we not want to keep that out loud? Uh, we can. Um, I do uh, three dozen variety for 30, five dozen for 40, and seven dozen for 50. And they're all freshly baked cookies. You cannot buy that in any store for the price she goes and gives you. And... I guarantee you the quality of cookies you're going to get and the variety. Again, you can pick and choose whatever you want, or you can say, give me a sample platter. It will blow you away on levels that you don't even know yet. It's exciting. <laughs> what can I tell you? All right, Jonathan, let's go to the next part of the show where we do the spinner wheel, where we give out one free tumbler to a special guest every week who likes to be a part of our show. And we really appreciate you watching.
Is that happening? Because I can't see it. All right. Right. And you're going to tell me the winner is, please, Miss Amanda. Jenny Tango. Jenny Tango. Jenny Tango. Jenny Tango. Jenny. Jenny Tango. Like Jenny Hill? Like Jenny Hill. Yeah. Jenny Tango. Congratulations, Jenny Tango. And happy Thanksgiving to you all, by the way. We want to show you a very happy Thanksgiving, an amazing time with family and friends. Or maybe you went out to the restaurant this year because it was less expensive to go to a restaurant than it is at home nowadays to cook a chicken, a turkey. turkey. And, well, they, they're actually recommending now chickens, turkeys. Because well, they thought they were going to have a turkey shortage. Right. Well, you know, it's also a nice treat to have. It didn't come out. No. Yeah. There's still plenty of turkeys. There's plenty the of turkeys store. and they're not that bad a pound. Do you know what Italians like to have during Thanksgiving? Ham. I'm Italian. I like I've turkey. I've always had I've always made ham. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Let me tell you. It's nothing to do with being Italian. I was told that Italians We've do always a ham. Made a ham. And I, I didn't grow up with a ham, obviously. Make a ham and a turkey. That's wait for Christmas. And right? either a lasagna or some money Oh, lasagna. I make homemade baked mac and cheese. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for jo joining us every week. We appreciate you being a part of our show. Happy Thanksgiving. Stephanie, thank you so much for being a part of our show. As thank always, you. we thank love you. Thank you for you. having me. And uh, we will see you next week, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah.